All right, we're here today for the maiden flight of Betsy's invention. Go ahead and let it go. I'm putting a ball in it to see if it will flip over. Woo! <laughs> I'm sure the doll is fine. So this is this is the contraption that uh, that Betsy rigged up. She put a put a parachute on a Kleenex box. Where'd you get the idea for that? Um, from whenever we went to to this horse place and they dropped candy from the air. Oh, that's right. They dropped the candy from the airplanes and they put parachutes on it. So now we're parachuting dolls. Did the dolls sustain any injuries? No. How long till we can scale this? Can I can I get in a bigger version of this? Would I be safe? Probably. I, that is a ringing endorsement. I would probably be safe. <laughs> All right, how many grocery bags would it take uh, for me to land safely? Um, probably like um, like ten, but you would need to like combine them all because they would they would, they would have to be huge to support are, a human. Are you are you calling me fat? No. Are you sure? <laughs> no. I'm a ten grocery bag it, kind of guy. No. Um, it would probably it would probably take more because. Because um, a human person would not be able to fit in this, and whenever you were to drop it, you um, you would need like a really big one, um, stronger. You probably wouldn't be able to use this because it would probably break. So where are we gonna find a tissue box that big? Uh, if they invent one, they. Will you will you invent me a bigger tissue box? I don't know. How many? What? Who would need tissues that big? I guess that's the bigger question. Is there a market for giant tissues? Well, you. Well, they would probably just create, um, you know, we could probably just use a hot air balloon basket. That's true. We could also probably just use a hot air balloon. Yeah. Is this, is this making a hot air balloon redundant? All right. What's, what's the scenario where I would need to, to parachute down, but just go in one direction? Like, do you see this as a replacement for the staircase? Uh, Say yes. I don't like stairs. Let's just let, uh, let me, let me parachute down from now on. Um, it would probably take a lot longer because um, stairs are just faster, and, and then it would take then it would take a little bit to get in the. Parachute. We need to talk about how you sell your investment here, because when we when we're out there trying to get people to give us money to make this, you don't say, "Well, I'm not sure if it's good." You say, "This is the best thing ever. This is way better than stairs." You need to lie, okay? Tell me, this is the best invention ever. This is the best. You gotta sell it. This is the best invention ever. This is the best invention ever. You don't need any stairs anymore. You don't need any stairs anymore. That's right. You're on notice, stair industry. Your lobbyist can't save you this time. Well, we you got were, parachutes. If you were ever trying to escape your house from a fire, you could probably use a That's parachute. good. The safety market. This this is a mount mode to escape your house, like the second story if your house is on fire. So are you saying this is fireproof? Um, it pro it's not. This is not fireproof. I don't think mommy's going to let us test out if it's fireproof. Full disclosure, she's not going to let us light things on fire. She, she's a buzzkill like that. Well, if we were to, you know, our fire pit, we could probably try doing That's that. That's true. We could, we could burn things outside when mommy's not paying attention. I like how you think. And there's Never even a little bit of snow. Shopping. There you go. We'll pay attention. And if she catches us, we'll just parachute to safety. We've got it all planned out. So there you have it. How would we invent one? Nothing. How would we we will work on that. We'll work out the kinks. All right. So there you have it. We got our invention of Kleenex boxes and grocery bags. It's going to revolutionize houses. You don't need stairs. Everybody's going to survive. Thank you for joining I us.